What up, what up, Winboys here. And today I'm excited to announce that I was just accepted into the Adobe Firefly beta. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So a couple hours ago, I just got this email saying I was accepted into the beta program for Firefly. So I'm actually just gonna scroll down and let's jump right into it and check it out. So I'm gonna click right here and this is gonna bring us to the beta page for Firefly. And if I scroll down here, you can see that we can actually try these two things out right now inside the beta. It says that the vector stuff is coming soon. But if you scroll down, you can actually see some text prompt stuff here too. We have a gallery and then down here, it has the announcement video they had the other day. And then we have some other stuff. I think this is going to be coming soon because I know they said it's going to be integrated into like Photoshop and Illustrator and other Adobe products here. But let's actually go through and try these two out right here. So I'm going to click on the text to image right here. And once you do, it's going to bring you to a gallery. It's pretty cool because it shows you what text prompts it actually took to get some of these. So it gives you some ideas. You can actually try them out yourself here as well. But here's a toe practicing karate. We have this little girl right here. And it's, just, it's cool because it gives you an idea of what it took to get these prompts here. And so let me actually try one out myself. Oh, there's actually a hamster. Oh, no, there's a guinea pig right there riding a bike. But let me actually text one out here. So I'm going to do cyborg. Okay, Cyborg, Windbush, and all right, let's do Exo, Skeleton, Suit, Puggle, and Outer Space, and a Spaceship to Mars, and let's see what this does. So down here, or actually, let me see if I did Exo Skeleton right. Okay, so saying I spelled that wrong boom right there i'm going to click generate down here in the lower right hand corner and let's see what it comes up with <laughs> and there we go so we have this will be a puggle this one looks like my dog right there dookie and um down here you can actually say like is this a good result or a bad result i'm going to give this one a thumbs up i actually like this one right here and it's going to say thank you for your feedback i'm going to do this later but i actually like these ones here i'm actually going to download these so if you click the right hand corner it's going to say promoting transparency and AI, and it's just going to give you this disclaimer here. And I'm just going to click continue. And I'm actually going to download a couple more of these because I actually like these ones here. So let me grab these. And then actually over here on the right hand side, we can actually change out our aspect ratio as well. So if I click on right here, it's square, but let me actually do widescreen. So I could do 16 by nine. And it's actually going to regenerate using that same exact text prompt. But every time you change out the aspect ratio, it's going to give you a different image each time. That's just something that it's doing. But yeah, I actually like these ones at 16 by 9. I like the previous. Oh, look at his eyes right there. I mean, these are pretty cool results right here. But let's say if we want to change it to maybe look like a photo. Because like right here where you see content type, you can actually switch these out. So let me actually hit photo here and see what kind of results we get here. But as I was saying before, whenever you change out the aspect ratio, it's always going to regenerate your AI prompt there, even if you have the same exact prompt in there. So if you did see something that you like, make sure you saved it out. But this is going to be using the photo prompt right there. And if you look right down here in the lower left hand corner, it's going to show you what you actually have selected here. So let's say that we wanted to keep it looking like a photo and we wanted to do it in like a synth wave style. So I'm going to click on this right here. I'm going to click on generate and let's see what pops through on here. So this is actually looking really cool. I actually really dig the synth wave style stuff here as well. So let me actually grab some of these, but you can actually see that you can actually really just go to town down here. Like last one, maybe let me click on neon and chaotic as well. And you can actually switch out some of these styles down here, but let me see color tone. Maybe let's do black and white and then lighting. Let's do golden hour composition. Let's do, huh? Let's see what it looks like with a blurry background. So we're going to get some depth of field. We're going to click generate again. And we got some neat results in there. We can see some cool depth of field in here and everything. Maybe last one. Let me click on graphic. Let me see what it looks like through that content type. Yeah, and this is what it would look like as a graphic, which these are pretty cool here as well. So you can see that you could just kind of go over here and just have a ball with it. Let's actually look at some of the text effects because I know with AI, text is something that it really has a lot of trouble with. And so let's see what happens when we use the text AI generator. So I'm back here on the front page and I'm going to do text effects down here. And this is going to bring you to another gallery that you can actually scroll through. So 
these ones actually have some examples as well and you could try out these prompts down here as well but let me actually let me actually just do one by myself so down here where it says enter text this is where we're going to enter our text here so let me do what up what up okay so that's going to be the word and then describe the text effects that you want let me do stack of donuts and hit generate and let's see what happens here so this might take a second for everything to load up but let's see what kind of effects we get here and there we go so that's not bad then you can see back here too we actually have transparency so if you want to download it with like a transparent background you actually can which is pretty cool so you can actually put this over top of your own imagery there or if i scroll down here to the bottom right we can actually add in a color if you want here in the background which is pretty cool but let's stick with gray for right now and then down here we have some alternative looks here as well so let me actually click on this one see what this one looks like and there we go so we have stack of donuts saying what up what up and we can actually change out your fonts over here as well so if we wanted to do maybe like cooper black let's see what this looks like and there we go i actually like the way that cooper black actually stacks these donuts down here like that that's pretty creative there so you can see that you can go in here and have a lot of fun just coming up with different techniques and things of that nature so just wanted to give you guys a quick run through of what firefly is right now i know they're going to continue to expand on it and i know ai is a hot issue right now i know adobe originally said that they're going to try to figure out ways to only have people opt in for the ai training and you know that's just something that we're going to have to look at and just kind of grow as a community and try to figure this stuff out but for those interested i would just say go up to the adobe website request access and it only took me like a couple of days to actually gain access so until next time stay fresh keep creating and i'll catch you in the next video i see you soon take care